Hello and a very warm welcome to Sort of Search classes. Today's tutorial will be on geology. In case of any query, you can contact us on this number. And if you wish to know more about us, any kind of details with regard to the topics or the papers we teach, you can check in our website. Now, today we will be dealing in this particular tutorial with this question which is marked at C. Let me make the correction. It is 6. Now the question reads as rivers that receive water from ground water seepage termed as. Now let me give you. Now this is a very easy question. However, there are different rivers that are mentioned here. And we will try to figure out the features of each of these rivers individually. So first let us start. Today we will move in the a different order that means we will start first with D and end with A. So for braided river, these are those rivers that exhibit numerous channels. So numerous channels. That has a unique feature that split out or split off and rejoin each other and hence give the braided appearance. They typically carry fairly so they actually this is the they typically carry fairly coarse grained sediments down a fairly steep gradient okay now this is with regard to braided now we move on to influent rivers now if we talk about influence streams they they are not usually deeper and wider downstream okay And in fact, most actually lose water. That means these lose water as they flow towards, so when, as they are flowing towards their destiny. So they are losing their water. And there are several reasons for the loss of water. And they are mostly in arid climate okay now let us move on to consequent river so consequent river so consequent river are those river that are direct consequence so they are the direct consequence of the original slope original slope of the surface upon which it developed okay surface upon which it developed now this means that is river that flows slope of land over which they were they originally formed okay so this is the main feature of consequent river and last we move on to effluent so effluent rivers are those rivers that get their water from the ground water so here we get a direct relationship between the water in the effluent rivers and the ground water or the water table and if the stream 
these rivers will rise or fall that means water table is rising or falling so because ground water seepage is related to effluent rivers so the best option we can pick out from all these option is a so a will be the correct answer to this particular question if our tutorials are helpful please hit the like button subscribe to our channel and thank you so much for watching